Dr. B's revolution will not be pesticides. And in this video, we are going to take you back to the year 2015 to my trip to Dominica. And as we can see, with uh, some of the French revolutionaries, did not were, were really fell short of some of the principles that the French Revolution was supposed to entail. But this kind of brings me into my, the next point I'm going to make about this video is that my argument um, in with the Maroons, with, with the argument that I made in my dissertation was that. The Nangmawon, or the Maroons of Dominica, this resistance to enslavement was not influenced by the French. Okay? And nothing to do with the French. As much as some historians like Michael Creighton and Lennox Honeychurch like to kind of like talk about this French influence, this was a very independent re rebellion and resistance to enslavement. And even when the French and the British tried to vie for attention or help or an alliance of these of these formerly enslaved peoples they tended to reject this this vying of alliance by these these Europeans another point I want to make is that the Maroons were not fighting for the any type of notion of modernity they and they actually wanted to remain completely free and independent and the way they saw it statism statism was equivalent to slavery and one can argue like with the Haitian Revolution that uh, some of the elites in the Haitian Revolution were fighting for statism were fighting for legitimacy they were fighting for validation by the outside European colonial powers and the United States but the vast majority of Haitians they didn't necessarily fight for that kind of thing the vast majority of Haitians that were born in Africa they were fighting for independence and freedom rather than statism or validated statism the Maroons were the same this is why in Haiti you had a group of people that that said you know what to hell with the state we're gonna establish our own society known as the the Laku system the Laku system in Haiti was equivalent to the to the Maroon under the modern state so the third uh, the third point I wanted to make was that the not only was the not only were these maroons completely independent in their physical attempts at liberation, but also the psychological and philosophical understandings underpinnings of the, of these rebellions were rooted in African philosophy, more specifically Igbo. All right. So that's, these are these were the points that I was making in my dissertation, and this is what I tried to defend all throughout. But also, the, also the conclusion that I made at the end was that while the African philosophy, African cosmology, was the the basis of of their in the independence movements, it was also the downfall of their movement as well. Once the Europeans were able to figure out um, what was motivating them, what was driving them, what philosophical underpinnings were motivating them and driving them. Nevertheless, I ended up. Uh, I ended up going into the woods with Francis in the St. Patrick's region, and it was a really, really, really yeah, uh, steep take, climb. Some people do U.S. history, some people do uh, you know, African diaspora, like yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Some people do uh, African history. Uh -huh. they, they do different things, and, and then everybody's focus is a little different. Yeah, some yeah. people doing diaspora might be doing Brazil mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing... I'm doing, you know, the Caribbean Lesser Antilles with a focus on Dominica and, yeah. and those type of things. And even Grenada too. You and went to yeah. Grenada too. Went to Grenada. Yeah, yeah. I went to Grenada. I didn't, I didn't get to go to the archives in Grenada because they're they don't really have a archive system set up yet. They're working on it. Okay. A lot of their documents were destroyed in Hurricane Ivan. Mm -hmm. But uh, I went to when I went to London, I got some of their documents in Grenada. 
and then I, I also got like you like I said I got the experience in the in the woods yeah, man, <laughs> with them. So but that be helping you put your story together and everything. Yeah. So go because ahead. You could actually, you know, tell me about the experience. Uh, yeah, tell yeah. So as I say, we just on our down slope now. We finished climbing the Pediton Heights, and as you could see on the trail, it's not too bad. But back then, as we going down, Bala would have um, come through this trail here as well. He could have been walking on the same trail. Yeah. But depending if there was any danger, threat or anything in the area at the time, he could have probably been going higher up the mountain, not passing directly on the trail. But at one point in time in history, he would have passed along the same trail here, you know? Yeah. So, okay, good. As you go, you know, to reach um, Daly Seas, and then from Daly Seas you go further to the north, east and the north side of the, of the island, you know? So this is where Bala went during the first Maroon Wars, yeah. 1784, 1785, yeah. 1786. So, uh, interesting, interesting. All right. So, uh, Thanks, Francis. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> it took hours and hours. It was an all-day thing. And I remember at the beginning of this trek up into the mountains, like, if you look at the pictures of me, I looked one way. By the time, by, by, the, by the time the end of the day came, my com face looked completely slimmed out. I probably lost five pounds, maybe ten pounds of sweat just marching in those mountains. But I really wanted to get a feeling for the maroons. And, and Francis showed me all kinds of things. He showed me some of the paths that Bala would have taken. He showed me uh, some of the caves that Bala would have potentially hid inside of. Um, five... Second five, there's a there's an area that's in um that they call it Bala Cave. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than that. But if you look at that and you that that could fit a man to probably hide hide from a from, from something inside there. Yeah, yeah. Is it? So yeah man, so endless little places that you could hide away and you could pass and don't even if you don't have dogs, you wouldn't notice that he was there. Yeah. Is it? Bala Cave. Yeah. Well, that's one of the caves that the Maroons used to hide in. Your yeah. Yeah. is in the way. Huh? Your ass is in the way. Medicine, herbal medicine. Yeah. Good for coughs, colds, stuffy chest, stuffy nose. Yeah. Good for fires, and uh, it's good to chase away mosquitoes. Okay. Okay. Gum, and it's good for a lot of other things as well. The gum tree. Yeah. That's the king tree of our forest. It just go go big, and the the um the Kalenago used to um cut it down to make dugout canoes. Okay. Yeah, because why? Because it's uh it's water resistant. Mm. Gum yeah. Okay. Okay. So water can sit through it easy, easy. Sometimes the uh the video doesn't do it justice. Or the, the camera doesn't do it the picture doesn't do it justice. Yeah. But the video okay. it captures a little more, you know, you can actually hear hear the water. Yeah, man. Over here in uh, in the jungle, in the woods of Dominica, it is uh, very pristine. There's nothing or nobody for miles. It's cool. I don't know how high and altitude-wise we are, but I think we're pretty high up in the mountain. 
We're on our way down now, descending to go back to the uh, the old plantation where Bala supposedly escaped from. But uh, yeah, cool. Enjoying. Peace. One of the things that I noticed about Dominica's forest, like Grenada's forest, is that it's treacherous, right? It's not really easy to get up into, but once you get up into it to the top, you can see how people were able to really survive up there. The vegetation is is plentiful. The uh, there's rivers everywhere, water everywhere. So as long if those maroons are able to defend themselves from the top. And uh, any and you can see from high distances, from from high altitudes, you can see anybody coming from from some certain angles. You shoot them down if you have the weaponry weaponry to do so. And this is what the maroons, the Negmawon of Dominica, actually did. But yeah, uh, the the maroons of Dominica also motivated me to become a gardener. They motivated me to start growing my own food because. One of the things that I that I looked at with the Maroons of Dominica was that when you're reading the primary sources, they talk a lot about how the Maroons sustained themselves in the mountains. They didn't depend on any man or any government for any food, water, shelter, or clothing, or anything like that. In fact, the government, the colonial governments in 1788, uh, with some of their new acts that they were trying to pass, amelioration type of acts that they were trying to pass, they were trying to entice the Maroons to come out of the mountains and they were trying to entice the, the enslaved or dissuade the enslaved from, from rebelling and running away by providing some of those things like health care, like uh, clothing, like food and all these kinds of things. But in reality, while you're providing them these things, you're still exploiting them for their labor. So that's why I always, I always question whenever centralized governments who have never had a history of doing anything for people I always question their motives whenever trying to provide so-called, you know, uh, food, clothing, and shelter, and medical benefits to a people. The Maroons provided those things for themselves, and it motivated me because I, they, they talked about the chickens that they had. They talked about the, the, uh, the livestock that they had in the mountains. They talked about the, the yams that they grew. They talked about the, the fields upon fields of food crops that they had to sustain themselves. And in fact, one of the interesting things is this, this is, this is actually my fourth point of my dissertation, was that the Maroons and the enslaved people on the island of Dominica worked together in unison for the most part. Very fascinating story, and they had all types of clandestine operations. It's, it's almost as if they kept people on the plantations just to get insight intel, intelligence, and to provide and, and funnel some of the loot from those plantations into the mountains so the people in the mountains can actually grow a greater and stronger uh, nation within a nation. But yeah, my, that was my trip to Dominica. Dominica was, a, was an interesting place. Um, I plan on going back soon, and uh, I plan on learning a lot more. And look out for my book that I have coming up soon. I've been working on it. I need to continue working on it. It's, uh, it's basically going to be my dissertation with some, some additions to it that are going to provide uh, some, some different perspectives. All right? But it's, it's, it's going to get a little bit deeper than my, than my dissertation was. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's my trip to Dominica in 2015. Remember, the revolution... Will not be pesticides. Peace. Yeah. I I've been in that tree. Uh, I've been in that tree. Yeah. I'll put them up on that tree. Yeah. Well, that's what it was. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> if I I use something day. But it's original. Yeah. Original. Anything you want to get? Any loose trap? Just head to a river. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I said to you? Yeah. Most bit of village. You must meet some village. Most bit of village. Any river. Any bit of village. Going down. Any going down to the sea. Go down. Yeah. And you must go to the sea. You see what I found later on the path? Yeah. Side it. 
Yeah, and we did we did the same thing. That's why when we got lost in the track, that's why we just walked, we followed the river. Yeah, it must be because it's done. Yeah, it goes down. But the only bad part about Grenada was there was so many waterfalls. Dominica, all river is a village. Ah, and it goes past by by a village and it goes to the sea. To the ocean. And that's how Bala used to make it through. Yeah, yeah. That's all that's all every uh, all the trails they connect in somewhere in the in the, yeah. in the woods yeah. and they lead into like a, a village. Yeah. I you check different I, communities, yeah. different villages. So it used to be trodden through the hills to the, to the, uh, from the woods, the mountains, yeah. Yeah. and then go into a different village. So like I told you before, before from, it's from Geneva now, he's, he's right out past Concassi's side. Mm -hmm. There's a, on segment five, yeah, yeah. there's a, there's a, um, a cave there they call in Bala Cave. Mm -hmm. So that's when he was traveling all our past Geneva going mm -hmm. right on to which Cassie Bruce, Cassie Bruce to which right Marigot side, side, London side, Derry, side. to which London mm -hmm. Derry. You check? Yeah, yeah. Because London there, you know, was the biggest estate and they had plenty mm -hmm. of things there too. So you had to go through all them areas there. You check? Trying to free slaves and... Only thing I'm not too sure if if he was traveling to different islands. Oh. Yeah, man. Because Through your yeah. history, you ever came across that? Yeah. If he well, was traveling, they were traveling regional yeah. to free up slaves and everything? Far as far cell did. Yeah. He used to go to Guadeloupe. And Bala, Bala didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't read. I didn't read about him. But he probably. He, even he, he probably, probably didn't. He probably read about did. It. Yeah, yeah, he probably did. Because the was Island, because Island slave get free up in St. John, you know. St. John. Yeah. St. John. Yeah. yeah. Like free up, like yeah, from yeah, Babylon yeah, itself. Yeah, St. Yeah. John. Oh, but. St. John. After and what year was that? I don't know. I can't tell you. I feel like I'm a cop. But I am After all, all those start to. Free up, mm. but first get free up from free in St. John. Okay. You know, after John. So that was yeah. the first um, Caribbean yeah. island. Yeah, that's okay. That, 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 Fight them black man 
and them and them arrows they kill them and they fight them black man and they and they are tribe said they use the tribe to fight with them mm -hmm. yeah. they give them wrong after the two no yeah. and fight them tribe because the tribes now to me now the tribes now almost had a black and white it's why the tribe black, hit black, black and black it's and now, white is now mixture yeah, yeah. It's now. because hold on because um the the the, the european settlers now them soldiers when they came and they were raping the Africans and then mm -hmm. the quiets end up making black mm -hmm. and white. Yeah. They check and then they they, they, they send them in a spot because yeah. when 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 the African woman now made a white child or fair skin or child, that, she dark 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 skin yeah. <laughs> and yeah. she have a fair skin child. Yeah. They check the the tribe didn't want them children yeah. around. Yeah. So the they were the Catholics, the, the Roman Catholics now, they took all them children now yeah. and, 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 and raised them. For yes, they grouped them yeah. to, check, we, to do we. their purpose to go back now and become even like some of them that even became yeah. saints and all them kind of things. Yeah. Going out as uh, their crusades and yeah. things. Like civilized missionaries yeah, and things. Yeah, missionaries and crusades. And we, but then when they had the crusades, it wasn't like nowadays when you go in and people gathering in yeah. Yeah. the crusades was like war armies mm -hmm. that was going out and yeah. invading plunder and lands and everything. Yeah. Conquering. We check Conquer and all the riches Conquer. now they're taking it back to the to the Queen. You said they call the they call the choir? Yeah, the choir. Well Kalinago now. Oh the Kalinago. So, yeah. so yeah. they're quiet now. It's why they wasn't like black. Yeah, we check. Because they fight black. Yeah, and they fight black the too. But they are uh, blood, black blood in them. And cross again. A lot of people, I don't know, but when I research, mm -hmm. watch research, a lot of people saying, white man say black man. Of course, why saying? White man say black, white man say black, yes. But who started first? Yeah. Is black man started first. Mm -hmm. Arab is black. And Arab start to um, rip them black and um, black woman and fuck up the, the man so when the white see that the white join them mm -hmm. but the Arab you can check what yeah. it was my name is Dez Mongoose you can check what white are doing there in your movement no I know the Arab started first yeah and the white dead this because yeah. that's, that's what people end, a lot of people end up saying because you know blacks or own blacks used to enslave um, you know, blacks or own people yeah. in you know, Africa. Is it black? Is it check? Arab started? Is why so, Arabs like black? So Arabs check them. Arab, Arabic, Arab, 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 Arab people are black. Arab black, black you know, but Arab checking their self, not black. Jews and things. They check their self black. Arab you check their self black. Same like Spanish. Spanish you check their self black, especially if they are caught in a corner. Yeah, you know, if they are like a corner, they check their self black. And Spanish is Spain, it's Spain, it's Columbus, it's Spanish. You know what I mean? It's King. It's king, it's king line. Yeah, it's king and Abel. Yeah. Who I seen? Europe yeah. is them and yeah, Europe, Europe. No, that's Europe, from yeah, the Bible, them no. things so too. Just follow <laughs> the Spanish language. Yeah. No, so, the, you know, king was was uh, you know, uh, from, uh, yeah, king from king, king, king Abel. So you know, king was king. banished to the north. You know what I mean? So the north is like the north of yeah. the world. Yeah. And north of king. If I had your king and he go yeah. way up in the north, no. in a yeah, cave. They, they say north in the Bible as French, in French. And he only made himself in the cave right yeah. now. He's from when he got